Hi everybody. We're going to read Starfish, Stars of the Sea. And I don't know if you've noticed this, if you've been watching any of the other videos, but this is kind of interesting. This is written by Connie and Peter Roop and illustrated by Carol Schwartz. And if you noticed, our book that we read before, Whales and Dolphins, is by the same author and illustrator. And so is Octopus Under the Sea. So those are three books by the very same author and illustrator. So again, this one is Starfish, Stars of the Sea. And it's under the sea, along the shore. Let me get the light on there. You see it? Live hundreds of starfish on the ocean floor. Oh, look how beautiful they are. Do you see all the different colors and textures? How interesting. Starfish who live on the ocean bed are purple, orange, brown, and red. Did you know there were so many different kinds of starfish? That is incredible. A starfish can be hard to see. Its colors hide it from an enemy. Starfish bodies have no bones, so starfish can crawl into hidden homes. You see it? It's crawling into a home to hide. Even if enemies do attack, starfish are lucky. Do you see? This fish is attacking it. Hmm. I wonder why it says they're lucky. Doesn't look lucky to me. Let's see. They're lucky because their arms grow back. Oh my goodness. So if a fish bites off one of their arms, it grows a new one. How incredible. I guess they are lucky. A starfish arm is called a ray. A spot on its tip tells night from day. This book rhymes like the other ones too. Did you notice? Ray, day. There was some rhyming in some other spots too. Suckers help starfish walk and crawl and cling tightly to shells or a rocky wall. I'm going to bring this super close and hopefully you can see. Do you see these little things? Let's see. I think you can see it on this one. You see those little things? They look like little bitty suction cups. That's what it's talking about. And those are called suckers. Cool. Rays are like fingers. They touch and they feel. Look at that starfish touching and feeling everything. Cool. Oh, I'm going to go back and read this because they go together. Rays are like fingers. They touch and they feel as starfish hunt for a shellfish meal. So it's actually hunting for food. A starfish holds a shellfish tight, then pulls it open with all its might. Do you see that? It's wrapped right around it, and it's forcing it open so that it can get the food inside. Amazing! Starfish eat without any teeth. Their mouths are hidden underneath. Here they are, opening them up and getting the food. That is remarkable. Starfish are sometimes called sea stars. That's their other name. I can see why they're called that. They live in the sea and they're shaped like stars. So sea stars are starfish. Did you notice this one? It almost looks like a flower but it's a starfish. 
But whether you call them starfish or sea stars, their lives are just the same. And that was starfish, stars of the sea. Bye-bye.